Yo boys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a PlayStation 4 or 5 or literally just how to use any controller on Dolphin Emulator. Now basically, if you don't know what Dolphin Emulator is, it's a GameCube and Wii emulator that I made a video on how to download. If you haven't seen that video, there'll be a pop-up on screen now. And essentially, I've been using it for a little while. I, I enjoy it. I love playing my old games that I played from my childhood without spending money getting the actual game. But one thing that's annoying is using the keyboard for games like Super Mario Sunshine. That's a 3D world that's really, that, that needs a joystick, essentially. And um, here's how to do it. So what you want to do is you just want to go on your web browser and just open it up. And then we want to go to this URL that I'm pasting right up here. The, uh, it'll be in the description below the website, but basically that you want to go to this website and then click search and then you'll be taken to this website. It'll look like this. Use your PS4 controller on your PC to its full potential. Um, it will emulate an Xbox 360 controller. So, I mean, it will work for all those controllers. You just want to click the download now right here and it will take you to this page right here. And then what you want to do is you want to click on ds4windows.zip. Click on this one right here. And then this will pop up down here. What you want to do after that is you just want to click on the WinRAR file that's up here and just don't buy WinRAR. What you want to do is you want to make a folder for this. I already have, as you can see right here, controller for Dolphin. I'm just going to make another one for the video. I'm going to make a new folder for the video. Let's just go ahead and name it. I don't know what's the same anything. And then once you have the folder that you've named, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and highlight all three of these things that are in this WinRAR file and you want to click extract to scroll down and then it'll take you to a your um to be able to click all of the files or folders click on the one that you want to put it into and then click ok and then you will see that your folder will no, no longer be empty keep this up just in case you mess up but then what you want to do is you want to click on it and then you want to click on ds4 windows once this pops up You'll, this window will pop up right here and then this is when you have to get your controller out so then what you want to do when you have your PlayStation 4 controller is you want to plus the share button and the home button at the same time until you see this glowing or blinking right here once you do that then you can pair the controller to the computer which is what we're going to do now once you have done that then what you want to do is you want to go to your Bluetooth settings on your computer like so and then once you go to your bluetooth settings you want to click add or add bluetooth or other device i have to disconnect it and then reconnect it first though um click on the plus sign right here go to this part on bluetooth and then it will show an array of devices once yours pops up right there connect it and then boom you're good to go you will know your controller has been connected when the blinking stops and you have a light blue glow if it's a dark blue that means your controller is still connected to the PlayStation. But if it's light blue like here, then you're good to go. Now when you go back into DS4 Windows, this will pop up. Your ID, status, battery. This is your controller that you have. So what you want to do is you want to go to pro Profiles. And essentially what you want to do is you want to bind the controls. So I want to select New. And then what you want to do is you just want to just press on a button, like just press any button. And then it's basically going to turn your PS4 controller into an Xbox 360 controller. So when you press the X button, you want to bind that to A. Press the circle button, you want to bind that to B. Triangle button, bind it to Y. Square button, bind it to X. RL2, BRLT. L1 will be LB, R1 will be RB, R2 will be RT. You just want to keep doing this even for the joysticks. I'll get back to you when I have completed all of the bindings. Once you have binded all the controls, you just want to go through all of these and see that cross is A, circle is B, square is X. And that makes sure you basically have every control binded that you want. Go ahead and save the profile. Oh, you have to enter a name. Okay, I'll enter that. Okay. You want to save the profile, and then once you have saved it, you can click on it, and you can set it to that. And then essentially, that is it. Now I'm going to go back onto Dolphin. Okay. 
Then once you have that, you can test it by opening Dolphin. Once Dolphin is open, you want to go to controllers, port one, you want to click on standard controller, go to configuration, and then you want to go to gamepad, not wireless control, you want to go to gamepad. And then you just want to click on this and then press all the buttons as so to make sure everything is what you want it to be. Now, you can also check the control sticks by moving around. As you can see, my control stick's moving and my C stick is moving. And everything is now set up for me to play GameCube games on a PS4 controller. The reason why I gotta do the DS4 thing is that the PS4 controller turns it into a 360 controller and then we can use the 360 controller on Dolphin. It is kind of confusing, but it does work. And that's basically it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Ha, just kidding guys, I just wanna to prove to you that this works by showing it in real person. So as you see, I have standard controller, I go to configuration, I have gamepad selected. As you can see, this, this joystick is the C stick. I'm rotating it and it works like that. The control stick is the same. And to even prove it even further, I'm going to load a game with these same settings uncut. And I'm just gonna show you how this works. Let's do Thousand Year Door. Now there won't be any sound because I have it set up to my headset or my headphones. There won't be any sound for this. All right, 60 hertz mode, 50 hertz mode. As you can see, I can move the options. Hold on, let me get it. With my joystick, as you can see, click X. It sets it to 60 hertz mode, and then boom, everything is working. Press any button to continue. I'll press a button, and then boom. Everything's working. It's 100% works. If you have any questions, leave me, tell me the, your questions in the comment section below. And for the second time now, peace out.